Following the announcement and release of the Galaxy S23 series comes Samsung's latest version of Android 13 in the name of One UI 5.1. And with that, we wanted to take a look at the differences, new features and improvements One UI 5.1 brings on the Galaxy S23 Ultra compared to One UI 5.0 on the S22 Ultra. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our breakdown of One UI 5.1 on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And what's new with One UI 5.1 on the S23 Ultra? The first thing we wanted to address is if there has been any improvements to the animation speeds, but especially the animation smoothness and consistency. To our very pleasant surprise, the animations have improved greatly on One UI 5.1 using the S23 Ultra. This sequence you will see here showing the usual apps most people will open and close on a daily basis is being recorded in a 240 FPS slow motion mode on the Sony A7S III and you can instantly tell that the usual frame skipping which affects the smoothness of the frame pacing on One UI 5.0 is practically eliminated on One UI 5.1. We can't say if this is also down to the benefits of the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform built for Galaxy as this is a slightly more optimized SoC with a higher 3.36 GHz clock on a prime core which might be aiding in better speeds and software performance on the S23 Ultra at this early stage. But we hope with previous Galaxy models, even with the Exynos SoC that are eligible for One UI 5.1, that we should see the same benefits to the animation smoothness like what we have here with the S23 Ultra. Let's start things off with the camera. Within the camera UI, it's much easier to change the color tone of your selfies with the effects button on the top right hand side, which now has the option for color tone with the ability to pick between natural and warm. Although Expert Raw is its own separate app and dedicated app, it's now practically integrated into the camera UI's overflow menu for a quicker access, which makes it feel like a built-in part of the camera UI. A few limitations to consider due to the nature of this is that you cannot move the export raw mode into the bottom of the camera UI for quicker access. And also, if you quick launch the camera app from the lock screen and you select the export raw mode, you will actually lock the screen and it will prompt you to fully unlock the phone to use the export raw, indicating that it still behaves like a standalone application. Regardless, this is a great step in the right direction as Expert Raw is the mode you need to access the new astrophotography mode on the S23 Ultra. The process of sharing photos via the shared album features is meant to be now easier than ever with the gallery recommending photos to add by recognizing the faces of your family members. For One UI 5.1, it's stated that the processing automatically removes shadows and reflections to make your photos better. You can also remake GIFs for better resolution and clarity. When you swipe up on a photo or video in the gallery, you have more information at a glance of the image and also an edit button to change the details like time and date, file name and location. Search is more powerful with now the ability to search for more than one person or item at the same time even without the need of tagging their names. Within the photo editor in the gallery app, you now have the ability to press on hold on an object or subject from a picture taken. From there, you can copy and paste to your desired location. The AI emoji now allows creation of photos and videos with friends, up to three people in which you can replace the faces of your friends with other characters. The interface and layout for the AR Doodle app in the AR zone has improved with the brushes now available on the main screen for faster access. You also have quicker access to the undo and redo button to make quicker corrections and also the new eraser tool lets you erase only part of your drawings without deleting them completely. There are now two new battery widgets which allow you to check your battery level of your Galaxy devices, such as your Galaxy smartphone, your watch and buds right on the home screen. The dynamic weather widget has now improved with new graphics and animations that make it easier to tell the current weather conditions. In the modes and routine settings, you now have the ability to add different wallpapers for different modes when they are active, such as work and also when you're exercising. There are now more conditions and scripts you can set and run in routines with new actions that allow you to control quick share and touch sensitivity as well as change ringtone 
and font style. You can now create a shared note that multiple people can edit at the same time, write reports with colleagues and many more. You can now invite people to shared apps that support it much easier with generated shareable links. Although we don't have a Galaxy book on hand to showcase this, Part of the connected Galaxy ecosystem of devices is the ability to use your Galaxy Book's mouse and keyboard to control your Galaxy tablet and even your Galaxy smartphone. The media output panel now gives you access to continue listening to music via Wi-Fi speakers on supported apps like Spotify. Using a phone link and Windows link app with an updated version of Windows 20H1 and beyond, if you're browsing on the Samsung internet app on your Galaxy smartphone and then continue browsing on your PC, you can find websites you've opened on your smartphone and also continue browsing on your PC. When swipe to pop-up is enabled in the advanced features under labs, you can now minimize and maximize the application window without going into the settings menu on the app window like previously on One UI 5.0. When launching into split screen mode for multitasking, Below recent apps, there is now an additional section for most used apps, allowing for quicker access to your favorite apps and most frequently used apps. Multitasking on DeX, the desktop experience when managing multiple app windows and split screen has greatly improved with a more streamlined control. You can now use the splitter in the middle to resize both windows, which was limited to one window on One UI 5.0. You can even drag an app window to the corner in pop-up view. Suggestions now appear at the top of the settings menu, letting you know useful features to try out or settings that need attention. As 0.1 updates go for software, it's right in saying that One UI 5.1 brings a lot of little changes that add up to be big, bringing Samsung's best version of Android 13 to its end users. Outside of the Galaxy S23 series, we should be seeing the rollout of One UI 5.1 on support devices like the S22 series and S21 series very soon. What's your thoughts so far on One UI 5.1? Let us know in the comment section below. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, and we will see you next time.